The Royal Hotel's ending includes a fast-paced number of twists and turns that send a powerful message. This thriller starts with two friends, Liv and Hannah, partying on a cruise. When they go to pay for drinks, they have no money. In order to continue traveling, they use a temp agency to get a job working as bartenders at a bar in a tiny Australian mining town, living in a room upstairs. After they get to the bar, they discover that the owner cycles through women for the job. Liv and Hannah understand why the owner, Timmy, needs new employees constantly when they start the job. Every day they face sexual harassment, toxic masculinity, and threats to their safety. While they don't want to stay in the dangerous workplace, Timmy refuses to pay them what they earn, forcing them to stay. In order to make their stay more tolerable, Liv and Hannah warm up to some of the customers, who are less overtly hostile. However, by the end of the Royal Hotel, they learn that even the most tame-seeming men have malicious intentions that come out when least expected. Why do Hannah and Liv burn down the bar in the Royal Hotel? At the very end of the feminist movie, The Royal Hotel, Hannah and Liv decide that they don't want to work at the bar anymore. They're tired of getting sexually harassed and pushed into uncomfortable situations. They hit their breaking point when Dolly tries to sexually assault and kidnap Liv. However, instead of just leaving, they light the bar on fire. While it's never directly stated, it's clear that they're trying to save any other women from having to work in that toxic environment, serving customers who don't respect them. They've hit their breaking point, and they know that two more women will just be brought in to replace them like they did with the previous bartenders, Cassie and Jules. Additionally, Hannah's reaction to the disturbing phone call from Jules shows that she understands the women don't get out of there safely. The only way to protect other women and eradicate the toxic masculinity is to destroy the bar altogether. What happened to Jules after leaving the bar? Hannah is on the phone with Jules in the Royal Hotel. The Royal Hotel is a non-stop sequence of disturbing moments, but one of the worst is the phone call from Jules. Early in the film, Dolly offers to take Cassie and Jules to Wad Up. At the time, this doesn't seem like a red flag. Unfortunately, by the time the phone call comes in, it's obvious that he's a dangerous person who sees women as property. He tries to abduct Liv when she's drunk, and she only survives the attempt because Hannah takes an axe to the tires of Dolly's car. Later in the movie, Dolly tries to take Liv again, 